Welcome to this blissful heart, effortless, full body restorative yoga class. In this class, we're going to be doing 10 minute holds. You're going to need a bolster, two blocks, an eye pillow and a yoga strap and a, maybe a blanket if it's cool and you want to pull it up over top of you. Before we start, thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed. It makes a big difference to us. And thank you for liking this video and also putting I feel blissful in the comments. All of this helps the algorithm put this video in front of more people like you. I would also recommend that you could follow up this class with one of my yoga nidras. I would like the yoga nidra to calm your mind, soothe your heart and rest your spirit. It would be a great class to follow this one with. It's yoga with Melissa 544. So we're going to start this class with legs up the wall. You could use a bolster in this one. So I'm going to recommend that you get your legs up the wall, have your bolster close by. It just makes it more of a heart opening pose. So bring your legs up the wall and then press into your feet and place that bolster right into your low back. And then you can have your arms out to the side or even in robot arms, whatever feels best in your body. You're going to be here for 10 minutes. Start that timer. So take some time to settle in, receive the support of your props, the wall and the ground. Let all the tension drop out of your body and your mind. You can use the ha breath here, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth with a ha. To release heart heat. You can keep going with that breath and I'm going to read you a poem. This is called In Search by Rosemary Watola Traumer. And so my heart, raw and torn, went to the garden and bid its hands to dig in the soil and plant zinnias lemon, thyme, basil, and parsley. And what's hurt still hurt. But an hour later, the heart emerged, raw and torn and grateful for beauty. All day it remembered the orange and purple petals the green scent of thyme, the zinnias, their blossoms, so exuberant, the centers surrounded by stars.
Okay, so you're going to breathe. Start to wiggle and stretch out. Bend your knees. Press into your feet. And you're going to move the bolster out of the way. And for our next pose, we're going to do child's pose. So I'll show you child's pose and I'm going to end up doing a, an alternative for child's pose. If you have knee and ankle issues, which is child's pose on your back against the wall here. I'm actually going to show you here. But let me show you the version. So you can do child's pose with the bolster. I'm going to be in the pose for 10 minutes. I'm going to do the variation on my back with my feet against the wall today. This is a great one if you have knee issues, if you've had knee replacements. As I said, you're going to be in it for 10 minutes. So in restorative yoga, we want to settle in Make ourselves as comfortable as possible. Let go as much as possible into the props. And let ourselves be fully supported here. So our poem here is called Listening for Your Name by David Graham. As a father steals into his child's half-lit bedroom, slowly, quietly standing long and long, counting the breaths before finally slipping back out, taking care not to wake her, and as that night-lit child is fully awake the whole time with closed eyes, measured breathing, savoring a delicious blessing she couldn't name but will remember her whole life, how often we feel we're being watched over or that we're secretly looking in on the ones we love even when they are far away, or even as they are lost in sleep, no one wakes from. What we know and what we feel can fully coincide, like love and worry, like taking care in full silence and secrecy, like darkness and light together.
Okay, so take a deeper breath and start to get ready to come out of this pose. We're going to be making our way into restorative locust pose. Want to move slowly and with care between our poses, keeping that really effortless, blissful feeling going for our whole body. For this pose, you're going to need your bolster at the base of your mat for your feet. And you're going to need either a folded blanket for your forehead or an eye pillow works well too. And then you're going to want your blocks for underneath your shoulders. So just take a little bit to get this set up. And you're going to put your feet up on your bolster. And then you can lie down and put your blocks underneath your shoulders. And then rest your forehead on your meditation cushion or your folded blanket so you have space to breathe through your nose. And then it's really useful to breathe into your low back here, into your kidneys, and just let yourself settle in and be supported and fully held by your props. Okay, this, po this poem is called Yin by Rosemary Watola Traumer. Curled on the earth like a small animal, I bury my nose in the grass and breathe in the surprising sweetness of spring green and purple bloom and soil still damp from last night's rain. And though my eyes are closed, the desert sun enters anyway, infusing my inner world with radiance, with red. There are so many ways I work to hold myself up. But in this soft moment, I notice how nothing is asked of me and how when I am still, the world I might ignore invites itself in. There is such a thing, says my friend, as the back of the heart. It is, she says, like the dark side of the moon. I honor that dark side, that quiet, shadowy terrain that is no less necessary, no less true for being dim. There will be a time to unfurl, to open, to shine, to rise. But in this charmed interval, I sink deeper, deeper into what is cool, what is quiet, what is beyond my knowing. The interval builds a nest around me. I do nothing and feel how I am held.
Okay, very slowly, we're going to make our way out of this pose. And we're going to set up for our next pose. Okay, for this one, you're going to put your blocks at the base of your mat and your bolster towards the front. So you wanna have enough space at the top of your mat for your head and your shoulders. And then on top of your blocks, put some cushions, maybe your meditation cushion or your, if you have two bolsters, you could use two bolsters. And then I like to take my yoga strap. So what you're going to do is sit on your bolster This is supported shoulder stand. And you can use your strap just to bind your ankles so that you can relax your legs and they won't fall off your props. So everything is on the props except for your shoulders and your head. This is very calming for your diaphragm, for your psoas. It's very regulating for your nervous system. Nice heart opener here. You're gonna be here for 10 minutes and we're gonna do a breath called square breath here. Okay, so with square breath, all the parts of the breath are equal. We're gonna hold each for about three counts. We'll breathe in for a count of three, pause for three, breathe out for three, and pause for three. So let's breathe in. Pause. Breathe out. Pause. Breathe in. Pause. Breathe out. And you can continue with that in your own breath rhythm now. I have a poem here for you. If it's supportive for you, you can continue with that breath or you can breathe normally. This is called Hold Out Your Hand by Julia Fehrenbacher. Let's forget the world for a while, fall back and back into the hush and holy of now. Are you listening? This breath invites you to write the first word of your new story. Your new story begins with this. You matter. You are needed, empty and naked, willing to say yes and yes and yes. Do you see the sun shines day after day, whether you have faith or not? The sparrows continue to sing their song, even when you forget to sing yours. Stop asking, am I good enough? Ask only, am I showing up with love? Life is not a straight line. It's a downpour of gifts. Please hold out your hand.
Okay, so gradually wiggle your fingers and toes. And we'll start to come out of this pose. Carefully roll to your side, remembering to hold that effortless feeling. And then you're going to take these props. You'll put your meditation cushion off to the side, your strap off to the side. You want one block high, one block on the medium setting. Hold them in a bit. So you've got your bolster on an incline. And you're just going to have a very simple back bend here for the next 10 minutes. And in this back bend, once you settle in, we're going to do some alternate nostril breathing. So you can take your right hand and right below the bridge of your nose, close off your right nostril. You're going to gently breathe in through your left nostril. Close both nostrils, pause. Breathe out through your right nostril. Breathe in right. Close both nostrils, pause. Breathe out through your left. Breathe in left. Pause. Open right. Breathe out right. Breathe in right. Close both paws. Open left, breathe out left. And continue with your own breath rhythm here. The next time you gently breathe out through your left nostril, you can lower your right arm down and just notice how you feel. This breath practice is very calming and balancing. This poem is called A Prayer for Every Day by Julia Fehrenbacher. Let me breathe only grace today, only that which slows, steadies, softens, sparks. 
only that which permits and pardons and points to the blossoms inside the broken, the poetry inside the pain, the nourishing newness inside the now. Let me breathe only grace today, only that which invites me to speak my very own language for as long as I have breath. Only that which hums you can, you will. Let me breathe only grace today, only that which notices the tired and says, lie back, love, rest for as long as you need to. It's not about how much you do, but how full you are. And my God, how beautiful you are when you are full. So you're going to wiggle and stretch out. We're going to find our way up to a seated position. So you can sit in a chair or on a meditation cushion. Let's just take a gentle twist to one side. Notice how you're feeling as we're coming towards the end of the class compared to the beginning. I want to acknowledge you for taking this time for effortless, full body restorative yoga for a blissful heart. Let's just make sure that we clear heart heat to finish. So hand over hand, inhaling through your nose, exhaling with a to clear. 
feel that hard heat. I want to thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed. I'm going to encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already. In July, we're going to be focusing on more classes to clear heart heat, to help you um, focus on yoga nidra, to really rest when it's a really yang time of year. Thank you so much for liking this class and putting I feel blissful in the comments. <sighs> Sending you so much love from beautiful British Columbia. <sighs> May your joy be as deep as our Pacific Ocean. May you be as rooted as the old growth trees in our forest. And may you be as strong as our mountains.